Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to be doing a workout week in my life. I want to show you guys what my workouts look like on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to go to the gym about six days a week. Let's get into it. Monday is always leg day. I love starting off my week with just like a solid leg day. And depending how much water I drank on Sunday or whatever, because for some reason on the weekends I just forget that I still need to drink water and stuff, I can go harder or not because sometimes I feel like passing out. I like for my Monday leg day to be more like actual leg focused and then later in the week I'll do more of a glute focused leg day. So let's get into what that looks like. I always like to start my workouts with a warm up. So I'll do about five minutes on the bike or a mile at like seven or eight resistance and then I get into some mobility stretching so I always do like mobility stretching before the workout stagnant stretching after the workout the mobility is to kind of just open up my hips get my body warm get me ready to be working whatever I'm going to be working that day let me tell you if you guys haven't started incorporating mobility into your workouts you need to start this has helped me get a much deeper squat I'm not as sore after my workouts and I just feel ready to go as soon as I get into that first position. Then for my compound movements like squats or deadlifts, stuff like that, I always will do one set where I either have no weight or very little weight just to get used to the movement, feeling that bar, just getting comfortable. And I would highly, highly recommend doing this. So I'll do like eight to 10 reps and just one set for the warm up. Then I'm just gonna add on my weights and I do three sets with the weights on of 10 reps. Now I'm doing what's called progressive overload every week and I cannot express how important this is. Basically, if you wanna see results, you have to do progressive overload. So this is either going up in your reps, your sets, or your weight. So the way that I'm doing it is I'll start at 10 reps at whatever weight I can do. Then the next week I went up 10 pounds and I did eight reps. I'll do that till I can get to 10 reps and then I'll go up another 10 pounds. I've kind of just started incorporating this. I've been needing to do it for a while, but it is going to help you get stronger faster and just see results in general. Few tips that I've learned for squat form, and I'm not a trainer, this is just my advice, is to look slightly down, potentially even at the ground, so that your back is actually straight. Same goes when you're doing deadlift. You also wanna make sure that you're pushing through your heels, and something that I've been working on is not having that little butt wink. You want it to be one motion, and your whole body is like connected, going up together, rather than like squat, butt goes up, and then you go up, if that makes sense. Normally, I'm also doing deadlifts on leg day, but I had been on vacation for the past week and I'm kind of just getting back into it, which is another reason I haven't really been doing progressive overload. I was just trying to stay consistent, but I'm doing the leg press machine. I love doing this on leg day. It just feels so good. And with literally all of my workouts, I do three sets and 10 reps unless I'm working on going up in weight, then I might only be doing eight reps, but that's usually what I do. Also, I don't always go up exactly 10 pounds, especially if it's like an arm day progressive overload. A lot of those I can go only go up just a little bit, but whatever it is, I'm really trying to incorporate that progressive overload, whether with reps or with weight. Also, I used to always use the other leg press machine that's kind of like set for you, and I finally switched to this thing where you like load the weights yourself. It was really scary at first, but this is your sign to push yourself and try something new. Just start with no weight on it to figure out how to work it, and then go up from there because it is, it feels so much better, and if you're short like me, this is a lot easier to use. Squats always takes everything out of me, and so I'm kind of already feeling tired since I'm coming back from vacation anyway. So I decided to just go to some dumbbells, kind of focus on form, and just get a little bit more of a sweat in. I used to be really bad at deadlifts, so that's why I'm practicing them. And I have some tips for you guys, but I do it later in the video with the barbell, and that's when I'll give you my tips if your back hurts when you do deadlifts. And I'm wrapping up with just some, I don't even know what these are called, side lunges. I'm not sure, but they felt really good. Like I said, I'm just getting back into it from vacation. Kind of see throughout this week, I was having a lot of really, really tired days. So this week I was just trying to get back in the routine of going to the gym and not necessarily push myself super hard. So it's kind of half cardio, half weights this week, but stay tuned because I have some good workouts for you guys. Today is Tuesday. So I've been kind of switching around my workouts, but this week, this is how it's gonna go. I don't know what I did. I think I slept on my arm weird, but it really hurts like just all right 
right here and today's shoulder chest and tricep day so we're not doing that hopefully I'll be better tomorrow so we can do that but I've been trying to incorporate more cardio anyway so today I am going to be doing some EMOM workouts which is every minute on the minute I'll explain that while I do it and then I also want to just do some Stairmaster and just like a nice long walk on the treadmill we're going a little bit more low intensity cardio today just because I don't know what's going on with my arm and I really want to be able to stretch that out and recover quickly so let's get into it like I said today we are doing EMOM every minute on the minute now of course I need to start by drinking my pre-workout and getting a little bit of stretching in kind of setting up everything that I need for this workout so every minute on the minute or EMOM workouts means that you have one minute to complete your exercise and then you can rest until it hits the minute and then you start your next exercise so I have one minute to do 15 thrusters once I finish all 15 I will rest and prep for the next thing so my next workout when it hits two minutes I am doing 35 seconds of rotating toe taps these like kill me i don't know why but after the 35 seconds i rest and prepare for the next thing which is 35 seconds of kettlebell swings now 35 seconds may not seem like that long but my goodness it is it seems like forever when you are doing them after my little rest when that minute mark hits again i am doing 12 pike push-ups I have awful form and I look like I can't even do one because I basically can't, but I promise you I am absolutely dying on every single one of these. Honestly, I should just do regular push-ups, but I just feel like the pike push-ups add so much more and is going to help get me stronger. I think I did 10 each leg of curtsy lunges. Now, here's my secret. I stole this workout, so I'm gonna link her video down below. She does amazing workout videos and describes everything in the form perfectly. Her name is Live Fit, and she introduced me to the EMOM workouts. Um, so instead of this, she'll actually stand on one of those like half ball things and do squats, and you have to like bounce really hard. But I couldn't find it anywhere in the gym, so I assume someone was using it. I've done them before, and they are amazing. We've only got two more things on this EMOM workout, and this is called Marching Crunches. I'm doing 20 of them, and they absolutely kill me. I am only doing a five pound weight. I could probably do a little more, but honestly, they're hard enough even just without a weight. So highly, highly recommend these last thing is going to be just running in place so i'm doing 30 seconds of butt kicks and then 30 seconds of high knees the girl i stole this workout from actually does a lap around the gym uh, but she has like a track and i don't want to just run around my gym so i decided to just do 30 seconds and 30 seconds and then i kind of eventually just ended up running in place but i stayed moving for the whole minute then i'm finally done so i decided to pose and rest and then i actually repeated this two more times so i did a total of three of these and it is such a good way to get a good sweat and i decided to end by just doing some walking on the treadmill i want to try to get a lot more steps in i would love to do a challenge where i start getting 10,000 steps in every day i see a lot of people do this and i love that idea just being more active in general because that's my goal to live an active lifestyle more than anything else i actually had a little more energy so i finished up on that stairmaster for about five minutes and then just did some cool down stretching and that's it for today see you tomorrow it is wednesday i'm up ready to grind here's today's workout fit so my arm is feeling better today i think i just slipped on it weird i don't know so i'm gonna pick back up with chest triceps and shoulders which is gonna include stuff like bench press shoulder press so let's go knock out a banging workout Immediately when I got to the gym, my little rubber band broke, so I had to redo my hair, but that's okay because I could do it while I spend my five minutes getting warmed up on the bicycle. Not filmed, but I did do some mobility stretching, and then we got right into it with bench press. Like I said, with all my compound movements, I always start with just the bar or very little weight just to kind of get used to that movement. So some tips for form whenever you're doing bench press is to kind of arch your back and push through your heels. If it gets harder, you need to push harder through your heels, and that has made such a big difference. I'm still learning a lot more about bench press form so that I can be lifting heavy and everything but I'm pretty proud of myself for not just doing the bar anymore 
So as you can see, when I'm doing it with weight, I have a pretty arched back and then I make sure that my eyes are level with the bar when I pull it off and then I'm just hitting right below my chest there and going all the way back up. I'm once again doing three sets of 10. Now we're just gonna have a struggle with like angles and everything as I don't have Charlie filming me anymore. But um, I'm switching between these two because I usually would do workouts with a partner so it's good to have two and we just go back and forth. So we are doing shoulder press and then we are doing whatever these are called. I call them bar pull-ups. That is obviously not what they're called, but it feels amazing on the shoulders. Like I said, with arm day, progressive overload is a lot slower, but I am trying to go up a little bit every single week, even if that means doing less reps. With doing it with a partner, we'll still do three sets of 10 and we just switch back and forth. Then I'm doing some incline chest press. I love doing these on shoulder and chest day. They feel kind of awkward when I do them, but it looks normal when I look at the video. So I think I am doing these right. Then I'm doing some flies, I think is what these are called. And I was like, oh, I'll just get a video of me doing them real quick with these heavy weights since my camera's already set up. Absolutely not. I don't know. I think it's impossible to do more than five pound dumbbells on these, but let me know if you are like the Hulk or something and can do heavier but basically just lifting them you know directly next to me and just stopping where it is basically a straight line try not to go any higher than that and these just are absolutely the best thing to be invented but so hard to wrap up this day i do a little like tricep burnout thing so i'm doing three sets of these three exercises back to back so we're starting with skull crushers with this preloaded bar then i go directly into close grip chest press i do 10 of both of those and then I'm gonna get up and do what is called around the worlds and after doing those things on the bench this absolutely shreds me and kills me so I try to do three sets but I am always exhausted by the last set and it's just a great way to kind of burn out at the end of the workout and I've just been loving wrapping up my workouts with like five minutes on the Stairmaster and I love to listen to like a quick little devotional or some worship music or something and just kind of sweat it out and make myself burn and remind myself how happy I am to be alive when I'm not working out it's Thursday. I already turned off the car, so it's got to be quick because it's 90 degrees outside. I was not feeling it this morning, kind of feeling a little sicky in my tummy. I think I just need some water. So I did relax a bit this morning, coming into the gym later than usual. I don't think I'm going to do back and by day yet. That's usually my next thing. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out the right kind of schedule. So I think today I'm going to do another like more cardio focused exercise because I want to be able to balance a good amount of cardio with a good amount of weightlifting. So we'll see what I come up with today. Maybe full body? I don't know. Once again, I am just starting with five minutes. I actually ended up doing 10 minutes on the bike today because I just really didn't even know what I wanted to do. I ended up kind of doing a full body workout, just hopping around, working on form on some things. And I'm usually not this cardio focused. So this is kind of just a funny week. I forgot what this machine is called, but I absolutely love it. And I normally don't get to do it because I'm always too tired on leg day after I do everything else. But basically you're just doing a squat, but it like holds you in place and you're on this like slanted platform and they just feel absolutely amazing. So you can tell I'm really tired because I couldn't even put weight on this thing. I was already dying. I don't know. I felt like I was maybe kind of getting sick, but I never got sick. So I guess I took care of myself pretty well. Did three sets of 10 of that and then decided I want to work really heavily on my deadlift form and I think I finally figured it out, which wasn't even this day, it was actually the next week that I figured it out. So I have some advice. I'm starting with some really light weight, just 10s on each side to try to get used to this form. And what I figured out is it is all about the hip hinge, which I knew, but it really is just about sticking your butt out and not so much about bringing that bar down and up. It's just sticking my butt out and I naturally will fall down. So some other tips is keeping that bar really close to the shin and that'll keep you from using your back. And I figured out that is what was really hurting is I wasn't keeping that bar like pretty much touching, grazing my shin. Um, and then also don't stare in the mirror while you're doing your deadlifts or your back is not going to be completely straight because your neck is kind of moving so just go with the bar you're going to end up looking down and then you'll end up in the mirror when you come back up and then last thing is if your knees are more bent it is going to be more glute focused and if they were a little less bent it's going to be more hamstring focused 
Then I went over to do some stretching but decided to whip out some ab workouts. So I'm just doing some classic weighted sit-ups. Then I decided to do some push-ups, test my push-up form. And I'm pretty impressed that I can still do push-ups after my vacation, honestly. But I really do want to try to figure out how to do more push-ups. Then I was just doing a little mobility exercise. I don't even know what this is called, but it feels really good. Then just cool down with a little bit of treadmill and I'm done for the day. I was so exhausted this morning. Still like kind of feel like tired, so I'm just gonna go on a walk, listen to my body, just go on a nice long walk. Me, I'm going on a walk, ends up on a swing. No, but we actually did go on a walk and it worked out because Charlie's sister surprised her. And you know, sometimes we just have to remember that we're living an active lifestyle. And that's my goal. It's just, just is to just be active and more healthy. Um, I, I do have body goals and physique goals and all that, but activity and just getting out every day is my top priority and honestly i loved doing a little bit more cardio this week and kind of feeling my body move in ways i don't normally move and i love getting outside so i was kind of glad i got to go on a walk to finish up this workout i want to show you the pre-workout that i'm using i've actually just been doing half a scoop which is only 100 milligrams of caffeine because i'm really trying not to overtake caffeine please be careful with your caffeine intake honestly guys this week has not gone as planned at all with my workouts normally I am very consistent about the weightlifting, but I don't know what happened to me. But this is just your sign that, remember, we're trying to live an active lifestyle. We don't have to push ourselves past our limits and we should listen to our bodies. And as women, we also have a lot of ups and downs in our hormones and it can be important to listen to those so that you're getting an effective workout. Anyway, I'm gonna get my third weightlifting in today. We're gonna be doing back buys. That's it, just back and buy. Let's go to the gym. Decided to warm up with the treadmill today and just go on like a nice brisk walk Like I said, I don't know why this week was so cardio focused and normally I have a whole nother leg day where it's booty focused Which was kind of sad that I didn't get to do it this week But it's okay because I started next week with the booty workout Anyway, I'm starting with some mobility for my arms and stuff just kind of getting warm Stretching myself out and even after all that I was still kind of feeling a little bit tight and whatnot So I just wanted to get my heart rate up. I did a little bit of these. What are these called? Mountain climbers and did a little bit of leg mobility as well just because incorporating mobility every day is so amazing and then we're gonna actually get started we're starting with some bent over rows now i don't know is this correct form i feel like it is i've been trying to work on my form with this while also trying to go up in weight and whatnot but i'm doing three sets of 10 as usual and just letting you guys know i don't have anyone to film me this day so it'll be random shots then I'm doing some bicep curls and let me tell you, nothing humbles me more than a bicep curl. Like I feel strong, but I'm lifting such light weights. It's so funny. Uh, and then I'm just doing another form of a row. Sometimes I'll pair these with a type of row where you go at a 90 degree angle with your elbow, um, 10 on each side. And then sometimes I'll do hammer curls with those, but I didn't do that today. Then the king of all back workouts, we are doing the lat pull down. I'm still trying to figure out proper form on this. I heard someone say you gotta put your elbows in your back pocket and make sure your shoulders are like already like kind of pulled down and set. So I don't know, but I do three sets of 10 of these. And three more exercises I couldn't get videos of. I found an old video of one of them. So I just kind of pull this rope to my face. I don't know, I call them face pulls and I do three sets of 10 of these. They feel amazing on my back. And then I take a bar and kind of push it from the top down to my knees. In this video, you can kind of see Alyssa doing it. <laughs> and then the last thing that I do is like the row, like the weighted row where you pull it to your chest with your feet up. I don't know, I don't have a video of it. But then I just walk on the treadmill for a little bit and that is my entire week of workouts. And even though this week was like kind of a little bit of a mess and not my usual setup, I hope you guys guys enjoyed watching me work out if you want to see another one of these in a couple weeks when i've been you know working on progressive overload and getting a really solid schedule then let me know but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye